Hello, this is Clint Halstead, and this is an internet course called Introduction to Microprocessors. Um, I'm using a book called Design and Embedded Systems with PIC Microcontrollers, Principles, and Applications, second edition with Tim Wilmshurst. Um, currently, we're on Chapter 5, Section 2, so we're going to talk about conditional branching. Last time we talked about uh, block diagrams and how to visualize a program. So last lesson we talked about these block diagrams and we talked about the rectangles and the diamond shapes. The diamond shapes is what gives you your, your decision. Uh, yes or no is something true or something zero, uh, something greater than zero. So that's kind of the heart of a, of a program is, is being able to make a decision. It would be equivalent to maybe a C statement and an if, if then type statement. So the, the, the instructions that we have for conditional uh, branching inside the PIC microcontroller are two of them are bit set f skip if clear and bit test f skip if set. Okay, <clears throat> and um, then we have, of course we have the call and the go to instructions. Those those will uh, those will unconditionally branch. But these are the two. Uh, the two ones that we have for the, the PIC 16F series, um, two of the four. <clears throat> so they're not really the most versatile in the world. Um, they're, they're not really the best instructions in the world. They're, they're kind of, uh, you kind of have to get used to using these instructions because they really, they test a register. So what it does is it tests the file register and it skips, um, it skips the next instruction if the condition is true. So in this case, it'll skip the, the next instruction after this instruction if uh, this bit, which is designated by B, and this file register is clear. Now the other instruction is bit test F skip of set. So this one works, it works the same way except for it'll skip the following instruction, the instruction right below it, it'll skip over it if uh, the file register and B in, in, in bit indicated by B is uh, set. So F and B are going to be numbers, numerical values. A B can either be 0 or 1, and F can be um, you know, 0 to 30 or whatever, however many uh, file registers you have. <clears throat> so those are the kind of the core, uh, the very essential part of uh, assembly language for the 16 series, and we're going to you're going to see these a lot. So you really need to understand how they work. <clears throat> Let's look at a very simple program, which is example uh, exercise 5.1 in the book. Example 5.1 and exercise 5.1. I would recommend that you go through both of these, looking at the example and uh, look, go through the exercise, the programming exercise, on page uh, 112. But the way it works is, of course, you have to have a program up here that initializes all your registers and, and does the things that you want, the org statement. But this is just the main part of the program. First thing this program does is it, it says move literal to W0. So it, it uh, stores 0 in the W register. Next thing that happens is it moves uh, the 0, you know, it moves this value in the W register, move W to F. So what that means is moves whatever in the W register to uh, port A. So in this case, port A is the file register that it's talking about. Remember that port A is considered a file register even though it actually goes out to the external pins. But it is considered a file register, so you still have to use the, the, the move WF instruction. Uh, the next instruction is move WF port B. So really, what does that do? It clears both port A and port B. Because we know that there's zero in port W, and then it's moving that zero into port A, and it's also moving it into port B. Okay, so now we have port A and port B are clear. And remember, this is the comment as well. Don't forget to comment your code. Commenting your code is very, very important. Okay. Let me get rid of that. So the next instruction is going to be inside the loop. Now, you, you notice that this is... the go to the loop and this is loop. So this is going to be inside of the loop here. So the first instruction is going to be bit clear, bit clear F 
um, port B, bit 3. That's going to clear only bit 3 of port B. Now what we want this program to do, what we want it to do is uh, we're going to have some switches and we, you can use the ping pong hardware to do this, to implement this program or to test it out. We want to have a, the two switches on port A if the if you press the button if you press the toggle button on your hardware then the uh, the toggle switch is going to force port A bit 3 low okay so when you push the button it goes low now if it goes low we want to set or send out that a 1 on port B so we want to make the LED light up okay so that's pretty much how the program works uh, that's how we want it to work. So the way we implement it is first we have to, since this instruction can only test and skip, then we have to uh, pre kind of get the port B bit three set up before um, before we execute the bit test instruction. Um, so because really the only way, the only thing this test instruction is going to do is just going to skip one line of code. So Notice the bit clear F port B and then the bit set F port port B. So you can see that these two instructions are doing the opposite things. One of these instructions is setting port B, uh, or I'm sorry, clearing port B. That means changing it to a zero. So bit three gets go, goes to a zero, and this instruction is setting it to a one. So what determines on what really happens ultimately is um, this instruction in the middle because if if this the bit test F skip of set it's going to skip this instruction if port A is set so normally port A is going to be set because it's pulled high with the resistor so normally what's going to happen is it's going to bit clear F port B and then it's going to hit this instruction and it's going to be high so it's just going to skip it so it's just going to always keep port B cleared. But if you push the button, then it's not going to skip this instruction. So then it's going to um, set port B to a 1. So that's the way the program works. And then it goes through the rest of the program in loops. So um, that's the way the instruction works. That's, that's going to give you your, the correct functionality on, on lighting up your LED when you push the button. And then down here, these other three instructions. These are the exact same thing as these instructions except you just notice that instead of bit 3 it's bit 4. So notice that the 3 and the 4, the 3 and the 4. Okay and then so you have port 3, uh, I'm sorry bit 3 that you're manipulating and then bit 4, bit 3 and 4 and then you have the go to loop so it just loops in this instruction in this uh, code forever. And that's about it. So that's the theory on how it works and then the next lesson we're going to we're going to um, actually in, in this lesson I'm going to at least show you how to set up your MP Lab X and I'll get the MP Lab X set up and then I'll have another video to take you through the uh, simulation so for right now let's go to MP Lab X and let's learn how to set up the simulator and that will be we'll, we'll set up the simulator in the next in the next lesson. So thank you and see you during the next lesson.